Welcome to the final stage of Davin Malik's Shire Lasha. We will review the first three stages and attribute some of the words that we find in Hashkofa that I think will help us understand it and put it into context so that we can strive to be able to reach this final level. The first stage is to be able to say, I recognize that Hashem was with me. And not only was I able to see the Yad Hashem and how He saved me, I'm able to make it to I'm able to appreciate the miracles that Hashem did for me in the past. So the first step of Oidcho Kiani Soni is to be able to be makir, to see the Yad Hashem, and to have a karasat toiv, to appreciate it, and to give thanks to Hashem for it. The next step, Evan Masu Abonim, is not only to say that Hashem was there, and not only to appreciate how Hashem saves me, but to realize that Hashem was not only saving me, but helping me, letting me grow, giving me an opportunity to become better than I was before. And in that level, we're able to also see the tremendous amount of control that Hashem has of the world, and that He is the Bari Olam, He is the Master of the world. Those steps are all included in what we call emuna. The moon is obviously much greater, but included in the moon are those steps being able to be makir Hashem, to be makir toiv, to all the greatness that Hashem has done for me, and to realize that He is doing it and organizing it all for my benefit. That's included in the moon Hashem. We go to the next step and we say, May Hashem Hoysa Zois, we'll be able to say in the time of challenge itself that this is happening from Hashem using any of the techniques we spoke about in the last time, but this is now going into what we call bitochim. I can trust Hashem that Hashem is doing it for my good right now as I'm experiencing it. Right now, Hashem is helping me out and I can trust Him. And then I can even reach a point where I don't need to know why. He niflois benir, not only is it wondrous and nice, but I can even let go and say it is beyond my understanding. With all that as our foundation, we can work on reaching the next level. Now, at first, I must, I must have a disclaimer. I have never professed, nor have I ever been accused of being able to have reached this level of Nagila v'nismech of rejoicing at the time of challenge. I think I accomplished our goal last time to say how to remain positive, and that I think I have been to some, to some degree successful. But this one is a little bit of speculation. For this one, we need to be able to remove ourselves a little bit. What, what in the Sifrei Chesidus they call bitl, to remove ourselves, our own egos, in order to be able to truly rejoice and being able to see Hashem in this world. It reminds me of a word from the Tolna Rebbe when he says in davening, that Hashem is mechadesh betuvoy bechol yoim tomin maise bracious, that Hashem creates, recreates every day the world anew. And he asks, why is that necessary? Is it not miraculous enough to keep the world running for almost 6,000 years? Why is it necessary to mechadish it, to create it anew? And he answers with the muscle of a car. Sometimes when we're driving an old car, 10, 20 years old, perhaps a little bit older even, and it has all sorts of little quirks that's built up over the years. Perhaps it makes noises. Perhaps the doors don't work so well. The windows don't roll down the way. But you say it's not too bad for a car that's already 20 years old. Not too bad. So a person can think the same thing with the world. The reason why I'm experiencing these challenges is because, look, it's 6,000 years old almost. Not too bad. It's working pretty well. But there'll be some of these little issues that it has. It doesn't quite work the way it was intended. That's what's not true. HaMachadish B'chol Yom Tomin Ma'i Sebrei Hashem created the world today exactly the way it was supposed to be, exactly for me and for you, the exact needs that we had to the precise degree that was necessary. But to really be able to 
I think, reach the village, the, the madrega of Simcha, we need to be able to separate ourselves, we have ourselves, and step out of ourselves. And to be able to look at the world, it'll be like a, like a story. To be able to say that what's going on here is remarkable. Look at everything that's happened. All of the things necessary to be created that I can be here today. All of the hundreds of years of American history, hundreds, the, the, the tens of years of Israeli history, in order that I could be able to be standing here today, all happened because Hashem did. It's kind of like a story. If you think about your favorite story, what are the parts that are the most exciting? If you go back and read a book, or you rewatch a story, you go back to the parts which were challenging. If you just are reading a book about a person's life that was simple and even idyllic, it's a little bit boring. You can read it once, maybe, if it's really well written. But the exciting parts are when there was a challenge. And through the challenge, there came growth. There came a special power, depending which genre you're reading. But what are the exciting parts that we look at again and again? Those are the ones that were challenging, difficult, forced our hero to do something he's never done before, and then, wow. So we have to be able to look at our lives a little bit from the outside, and to be able to say, Hashem. This whole day Hashem created Nagila v'nismechaboy, and we can rejoice in it. However, that madrega is very difficult to maintain. And particularly as we go back and we sit in ourselves and we readjust back to life, we feel a need to cry out to Hashem and say, Oh no, Hashem, oh she no. Help us. Perhaps it's help us to maintain that level of simcha. Perhaps it's help us to not be dragged down by the things that are pulling us down, or perhaps it's even to say, Hashem, please take it away. But it's very difficult to maintain that level of simcha. The Balatanya says that Sadiqim are able to maintain that level, but most of us can only achieve it in short periods of time. And he suggests perhaps it's Kriyashma Hashem, and that's when we're really Dovak Hashem. But most of us will say, Onna Hashem, no. And if it's not a hoishio, then at least hatzlicho no. Give us the strength to be able to matzliach and this nesoyin that we know and we trust Hashem is doing it for our best. We have the muna to know that Hashem runs the world, He orchestrates the world, everything is done for our benefit, and we have the bitochen at the moment to be able to say, I'm okay with it. And we ask Hashem to help us ultimately be able to rejoice in it, to be able to see the greatness of Hashem's hand. Thank you for listening and joining me on this journey of the steps that lead to the Sha'ar Hashem. And I hope they have provided you with some form of insight and inspiration to be able to apply that in your own lives. And as you take these tfilos and you take this Sha'ar and you walk along its path, that you find it uplifting, encouraging, and ultimately you reach some level of connection to Hashem more than you had before. Thank you.